Hey you guys, good morning. Right now we are hanging out and chilling out. It's our Saturday and uh, there's a big fight on tonight, McGregor versus Mendes. So uh, we're just kind of getting ready for that. But we're trying to be good uh, with our diets. We're gonna have buffalo cauliflower. So maybe I'll do a little J&J's kitchen on that. Yeah! Yeah, good time for that. And we're excited for the fight. This is the most excited I've been for a fight in a long time. And there's uh, Lawler and McDonald, which will be fun. You'll have already known the outcome or you'll have already not cared because you don't watch MMA. But, just wanna say hi, and then I'll see you guys in the kitchen when we make our cool little meal. J and K's kitchen, J and Kermit's kitchen. What's up guys, welcome back to J and J's kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making buffalo cauliflower. With special bites. guest? Buffalo cauliflower K. bites. So it's J, J and K's and kitchen. K's kitchen. Kermit's being a love bug today. So, ingredients first. One head of cauliflower, half a cup of non-dairy milk, half a cup of water, three fourths a cup of all purpose flour, for us, gluten free ass flour, not ass flour. Two tablespoons of garlic, onion powder, cumin, paprika, salt, pepper, all that stuff. And then earth balance butter spread, Frank's Red Hot. And some elbow grease. And some malt. <sighs> All right, let's get started. All right, so step one is wash and cut cauliflower. Step one is preheat your oven. Step one is preheat your oven, I'm wrong. Well, we don't have any parchment paper. So we're just gonna go directly We're gonna on the pan. fall out on the pan. Yeah, we didn't have parchment paper. Ideally, you'd have parchment paper, but we're gonna cut this up into bite-sized florets. 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 Jenna's gonna tell us what we need. Half a cup of milk and half a cup of water. All right, so it's a cup of liquid, half milk, half water. And throat spray. Ah, that's gross. Got our liquids. Three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. So gluten-free and floury. Now come the spices. Onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, paprika, sea salt, and pepper. So here are our spices. Mix that stuff together. All right, so we're gonna mix this batter mixture together. It's looking pretty good. It's gonna be like sort of a pinkish, orangish batter, but it smells really good. You know what it smells, reminds me of? What? The black bean burgers. All right, so now we're gonna coat the cauliflower in this batter. So we're gonna take individual pieces of cauliflower. We're gonna dip it into the batter right here, and then we're gonna lay it onto the pan. Oh, good eating, good eating the excess cauliflower. So healthy. So it's gonna go from there, to there, to there, to there. So let's get going. We don't have time to do this individually. <laughs> <laughs> so Jenna's finishing up right now, but they're ready to go in the oven. The oven's hot, and uh, they're looking pretty good. They're smelling good, right? Yeah, because the, the flour gives them a little bit like cheaty carby outside. You know, like it'll make it be a little crispier than roasted cauliflower. It smells good. It's going to be nice and good and not as cheaty for yeah. like when you want something buffalo-y. <laughs> yeah, you guys, this is a great recipe for game day and stuff when you want to just have yeah. that buffalo. An alternative to your buffalo needs. We all have buffalo needs. Yeah. Everyone has buffalo needs. As a proud of state New Yorker, I have buffalo needs. <laughs> buffalo needs. This batter was like, once we thinned it out, it's it literally is just enough for a head of cauliflower. Yeah, it worked out great. Sweet. So how long are we put it in the oven? You put it in the oven for 25 minutes and you flip it halfway through. And then once they come out, you're gonna coat them with the flour. So we'll have, a separate, again. we'll have a separate sauce. That's the buffalo sauce. This yes. is just the batter. And we're making a dipping sauce. Yes. Ooh, we'll put a little hand scrub. <laughs> All right, so now while we wait for that to be in there for 20 minutes, we, we will make wing sauce and the, the wing sauce. sauce and the dipping sauce. So for the dipping sauce, we're gonna need a cup of veganaise or mayonnaise, parsley, apple cider vinegar, onion, dill, dill, salt, pepper. Chives. Chives. So I'll cut up the chives and Jenna will start working on the dip. So we're gonna mix up the dip now. And this is supposed to be like a pseudo ranch dipping sauce. Got it. This is the real money maker for this recipe. It's Frank's Red Hot. It's like the best hot sauce ever. And if you're gonna go and tell me that it's not the best hot sauce ever, then you can go and get out, cause it is. So we're gonna take a whole cup of our hot sauce. You can obviously choose if you want a worse one than Frank's, but you take a cup of your hot sauce, and then you're gonna take the Earth Balance Butter. Okay, so you're gonna take a cup of hot sauce and a tablespoon of Earth Balance Butter you spread and mix that all together in a bowl, and that is your buffalo sauce. Brad's here with his hair cut. That fresh, ill, nasty lineup dough. Okay, 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 that okay. Dough. Oh, that looks good. Mm. So that's all set. 
once the wings come out, then we're gonna coat them in that and then bake for another 25, 25 minutes. minutes. Then we got buffalo cauliflower bites. Good. Word. Okay, we took these out. They're ready to get flipped and then put back in. Right! Yeah, we don't have parchment paper, so they might be stuck, but that's okay. These are looking good, though. They're not looking too thick. All right. So now you put them back in for the rest of the time. Yay. Bye. All right, so our cauliflower came out, and Julian is now transferring it into the wing sauce. Yes. Oh my God, are you excited? J, are you excited? Yeah, I'm fucking pumped. B, are you excited? P, K, are you guys all excited? Cause you don't get any, just we do. We lost one. Get back in there, you bitch. JJ's kitchen gets a little rowdy when we're hungry. That's true. You're doing a good job. Maybe it's we should have gotten a bigger ball. <laughs> it's okay. Life yeah. on the edge. You have so much to live for, cauliflower. Oh yeah. Like, tell me that doesn't look this like looks chicken fucking, wings. This looks like boneless bites, you know? Yeah. Right. And now they're gonna get nice and like crispy again and cooked on the outside. Look at that, shit, yes. All right. So same thing again, 25 minutes, halfway through, flip them over. Hello there, so we took this out and it's looking really, really good. Let's put it on the pot before I take a picture. This is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I wish we had three of these though. I know, I could eat all of it. All right, let's, let's Jenna, Jenna wants to Instagram it. All right, so this is seriously good. Like they have a wing taste. So good, I'm dying. Uh, this is one of the best recipes we've ever done. Cause it doesn't just taste like cauliflower, it tastes like there's crisp and it's like wing texture. It is, it's, it feels like a wing. Yeah. What are we gonna do when we eat this and need more of it? So we can't even finish this whole plate. These are like legit filling. This is the best thing we've done on J and J's kitchen in a long time. I'm living! This might have to be like a weekly recipe for us. We're, we literally are thinking about making another one later, a whole another batch. But I will link the recipe in the description. Jenna found it. Thank you for finding that amazing recipe. Thank you person on Pinterest. It's from hotforfoodblog.com. And whoever you are person, this is fucking incredible. I found it on Pinterest. We're gonna link you guys in the description so you can make this. Let us know what you think in the, in the comments if you try this and what we should try next on JJ's Kitchen. All right, we're gonna watch some fights now. Yo guys, so uh, I forgot to close the vlog yesterday, which is when we finished the J&J's kitchen. So I'm gonna close it now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching us uh, cook that meal. It was truly one of the most enjoyable, like healthy meals we've ever made, let alone filmed for J&J's kitchen. So I'm really pumped about it. I hope you guys like it and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog, regular vlog, not a J&J's kitchen, but I will be trying to bring those back more and more because I know you guys like them and we enjoy them a lot too. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, love you guys, see you tomorrow.